come over here. So yeah, as I mentioned yesterday, this is the Hi. lady who used to be clover with I'm the from Excalibur. Excalibur. Nice Hi. To meet you. So we're just doing a bit of a story for next week's um, newspaper article. And we heard that there was a kangaroo mouse found. And so um, that's very rare. It's not something that's in Ontario. So, so who, who saw the mouse? Was I that saw the mouse. You saw the mouse? But Henry, have you seen any activity no. at all in here? I, I haven't seen any mouse in mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. All right, so where did you see it, Michael? It was right behind here. Right this behind here. Yeah. And, and how big is the mouse? It's just about four to six inches. Mm -hmm. It's really small, yeah. light brown. Okay. So yeah, we saw the mouse just right there. there. Okay, um, I just want to show you something, Henry. Can you come out here for a second? Do you know these people here? I know. Hi, yeah, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Henry, <laughs> they nominated you, and you are the recipient of the Phyllis Clark Campus Service Award. This is not about a mouse. This is about you, you and the work that Henry? you do. Thank you so much. I'm surprised for this one. <laughs> Oh, I scared. This. You uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I say I never found a mouse here. <laughs> That's good. There was no okay. mouse. Thank you Congra so much. Congratulations. Oh, I'm not sure. Congratulations. I'm sure. Congratulations. Yeah. So that's for your hard work. I. But I think this is my duty. He's just. He's really dedicated to what he does. He's very professional. He understands the impact of. Um, the space that we all work in. I think that his um, dedication to his job is just unquestionable. Henry has always seemed exceptional to me. He has always been um, one of the most hardworking and dedicated staff members I've known at York University. And he has a fundamental commitment to ensuring that our workplace is exactly as it should be. In order to ensure that we have the space, we need to do the work we want to do. His, his excellence has to do with his approach in being proactive, I think, and getting to know the people, not just the offices, that he cared about us and how we did our job and how the students' um, physical area was. So he cared for more than just getting the job done. He cared about the people that were doing their jobs there. Well, when it comes to service, I, I can't think of anyone more deserving than Henry. He does go that extra step and that extra mile to make sure that people are comfortable in their workspace. What makes Henry so special is if I give him a request and let's say the request is to clean room 234, he knows who works in 234. He doesn't hesitate to contact the person and say, what do you need? I'm here for you. And then even after he's finished, he will follow up. Our research center used to host a series of events annually. We would put up posters all over the place letting people know. Henry would keep track of the dates and ensure to come to us before each event asking if there was anything additional that needed to be done, anything he could do to support the success of the event, uh, anything he could do to make it a little bit better and make our guests feel a little bit more welcome. And that was just far beyond anything uh, that was expected of him and it was always much appreciated. I mean, the impact of him doing his job so well is that it allowed us to do ours um, equally as well because we were always coming into a very professional and clean and organized space. He looked around to see what he could do to make our work easier and how he could make the, the physical uh, buildings at York better for everyone. I don't know anyone who doesn't smile when they see Henry. Um, he is inspirational in terms of his work ethic and certainly an inspiration to me in terms of his ability to and commitment to doing his job exceptionally well every day. So I think he has an impact on those around him um, because he reminds us what it looks like uh, to do a great job every single day. Not too, sen <laughs> too sentimental, but I miss having him around because he's, he's taken on a new position at, at another campus location. Um, and everyone at FGS misses having him work with us. Maybe he just cares a lot, you know? He takes his job personally. It's not just about the money. He wants to do the best that he can do. It is an honor to be part of your university for 
past 15 years. This award is not for myself, but also the teammates in CSBO department. It is an honor. I feel happy and surprised and lucky.